Farida Daif, Canada Director of Human Rights Watch. Thank you so much. The International Court of Justice, the principal judicial organ of the United Nations, delivered a landmark decision today. The court essentially made clear to not only Israel, but also its allies, that immediate action is needed to prevent genocide and further atrocities against Palestinians in Gaza. The speed of the court's ruling only underscores a recognition of the dire situation where civilians face starvation and are being killed daily at levels unprecedented in the recent history of this conflict. Notably, the court found that it was critical to adopt these urgent measures in order to protect the rights claimed by South Africa that the court found to be plausible, including the right of Palestinians in Gaza to be protected from acts of genocide. The provisional orders require Israel to essentially do five things, prevent and not commit any acts of acts under the Genocide Convention, prevent and punish incitement to genocide by its officials, ensure the provision of humanitarian aid and basic needs to Palestinians in Gaza, prevent the destruction and ensure the preservation of evidence related to this case, and report back on its progress within one month fundamentally measures that would protect civilians, ensure compliance with international law, and seek to prevent further suffering. The case brought by South Africa provides a critical opportunity for the International Court of Justice to provide clear, definitive answers on the question of whether Israel is committing genocide against the Palestinian people. The severity and the gravity of the abuses committed in Gaza warrant this level of scrutiny. Allegations of genocide or any atrocity crime only underline the importance of independent and impartial investigations. As we've said at Human Rights Watch again and again, governments, including Canada, should publicly and unequivocally support this process. The court's clear and binding orders raise the stakes for Canada and Israel's other allies to back up their stated commitment to a global rule-based order by helping ensure compliance with this ruling. The court found that there's a plausible risk of genocide. So states are required under the Genocide Convention to take actions to prevent genocide, and of course, not to be complicit in its commission. It cannot be business as usual, both for Israel and its allies following this landmark decision. Canada should urgently leverage its its should urgently use its leverage to ensure that the court's orders are enforced by the state of Israel. Both the Prime Minister and Minister Jolie should push Israel both privately and publicly to comply with the provisional measures and state unequivocally that Canada expects the full, immediate, and effective implementation of these orders, as the European Union has just done. Canada has historically been, been a leading voice for international accountability. It played a central role in establishing the International Criminal Court and has championed efforts at the International Court of Justice on Syria, Myanmar, and Ukraine. The Canadian government's position on Israel-Palestine departs gravely from Canada's storied legacy of action to prevent and address international crimes, but it's not too late to reverse course. Prime Minister Trudeau can choose to act and not be a silent bystander to atrocities. He can choose to advance justice and accountability for serious international crimes. The government can choose to engage in an impartial and principled manner. Thank you.